fires, floods, and car crashes. When disaster strikes, you depend on your insurance company to help you put your life back together. But sometimes insurers refuse to pay. So who do you turn to then? KXAN investigator Brian Collister discovered help can be hard to come by. You may think taking on your insurance provider is like David versus Goliath. That's why the Texas Department of Insurance is here. Right on its website, it says it can help resolve complaints against insurance companies, assisting Texans in getting back millions of dollars each year. But we discovered that's usually not the case. And because of our investigation, TDI promises it will be more clear about how it can and cannot help you. There was a lot of hail damage. Hit this roof hard. A winter storm hammered Carol Fredenberg's Onion Creek home back in 2015. It almost looked like snow cone stuff. That's because it was hitting my roof and breaking up and making damage. A roofer told her it needed to be replaced. But her insurance company, State Farm, said the damage only affected part of her roof and would not pay for a new one. Well, they said that's not covered, so you're out of luck. This is where he took pictures. Carol even went to an appraisal hearing, and an independent appraiser ruled in her favor, but State Farm still wouldn't pay. If you file a complaint, we'll be happy to go to the insurance company on your behalf. So Carol turned to the Texas Department of Insurance. State Farm says, we're going to ignore that, and we're just going to pay what we think you have hail damage on. I was hoping that the state would investigate. The TDI website said it could help with claim denials and when the company is paying too little. But months later, Carol got this letter from the state agency saying it could do nothing and she'd have to file a lawsuit against the massive corporation to get the money she wanted. And she's not alone. KXAN's analysis of state records show TDI confirmed or ruled 22% of consumer complaints were valid and the company should pay up. The other 78% TDI said it could not confirm the complaint. Of that number, more than half are cases where TDI simply says it can't help and tells consumers like Carol their last resort is to hire an attorney and fight their insurance company in court. They're misleading consumers in this process. The insurance watchdog organization Texas Watch thinks consumers deserve more assistance. They go through this lengthy process that takes months and then in the end are told, actually, we can't help you go find an attorney. We find that very frustrating on the behalf of the consumer. My testimony today. KXAN asked to speak with Insurance Commissioner David Maddox. Our request was denied. Instead, we got the agency's spokesperson. For the consumers who haven't gotten help from TDI, what do you say to them? Well, we uh, do everything that's within our power in the law to uh, make sure that the companies are following the law and that they're honoring their insurance policy. TDI says it cannot help when there is a dispute of coverage. We can't make a medical judgment. We can't uh, determine negligence. Uh, so there's certain things that are just beyond our authority to do. And that's really the area that the civil courts are there for. This, this was damaged. This was damaged. Carol eventually sued State Farm. And the day her case was set for court, the insurance giant settled up and paid. They know if they say no long enough and, and just deny everything and you get no help from any of your state agencies or anything, you can't do anything. They just keep saying no, no, no. And people usually don't have time to fight it back. We reached out to State Farm about Carol's case. It had no comment. But because of our investigation, the Texas Department of Insurance is already promising changes. The agency says it will now take steps to make it clearer on its website what types of complaints it can and cannot help resolve. And for the first time on our website, we're listing the top reasons TDI says it can't help and the reasons that you'll have to go to court to fight your insurer. Also, which companies are most often the ones where TDI cannot help you. Brian Collister, KXAN Investigates. Thanks, Brian. This legislative session at the state capitol, lawmakers are tackling what many see as excessive lawsuits against insurance companies.
Senate Bill 10 aims to stop lawyers who actively recruit clients after an event like a hailstorm. Supporters like Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick claim an increasing number of Texas attorneys are only padding their own pockets to increase premiums for homeowners and business owners, forcing some insurance companies out of business. It's important to note the bill does not prevent policyholders from suing their insurer. And the group featured in our investigation, Texas Watch, points out a TDI report showing only up to 2% of cases actually go to court. But the report also found the number of lawsuits has increased by 1,400% in the last five years. If you're having trouble with your insurance provider, the KXAN investigative team wants to hear about it. Email us at reportit at kxan.com.